what's going on? How you doing? Uh, I'm going to unbox this uh, very ugly knife, which I absolutely love. It's a knife that I've had multiple times. I've, I've literally had this probably six or seven times, if not more. Who knows, maybe ten times. I can't keep track. Uh, it's a knife I get, and then I trade, and I get, and I sell, and I get, and I sell, and I get, and I trade, and I get, and I sell. And now I have another one, another trade for it. Um, if you can't already guess by the beautiful artwork here, it is a Spyderco Dodo. All right, I love this knife. The reason I keep getting rid of it, it's not because I don't like it, but because it holds a lot of value. You know, a lot of people are looking for these. They're harder to find. As time goes on, it just gets harder and more expensive. Uh, I've had pretty much every version of it, except for, I think, maybe a fully serrated, you know, with the orange scales. Um, but I, I've had lots of variants of this. Um, so anyway, with no further ado, let's get right into opening this box. Uh, doing a partial trade, it was this knife plus some other stuff for a uh, Microtech, all right, in case you're curious. So today's EDC is an import uh, silent soldier from uh, Mr. Jason Browse. You will see a video on this soon. I do still have the original, so I'll compare the import to, you know, the more expensive version. But uh, yeah, let's break into it. I'm actually going to cut this way. I'm just gonna cut this little tab here. That's all you really need to do with these boxes as long as it's not taped around the sides. This way you don't destroy, possibly destroy what's inside. Let's uh, close this. We have a note, which I love. I like notes. And that's it. That's empty. All right, so first, let's take a look at the note here. Because it said Yavo, I'm hoping that it can be read on camera. Jeff's letter for Dodo Trade. Okay. Fine to read on camera, right up top here. Hello, Jeff. As you know, I'm a longtime viewer, about seven or eight years. Uh, I'm glad I can help you get another Dodo. Yes, thank you so much for that. Uh, so now you can make uh, an updated video. I'm also happy to know that our trade can help Gus. Yes, part, part of this uh, trade is cash, cash and, you know, a knife trade so that I can pay some uh, vet bills for Gus, which is good. And by the way, I don't know the order when I'm going to post these videos, but I will do a Gus update video. All right, because I have more news about what's going on with him. Um, I know how important pets are. Uh, to the family. I own a cat and I also have 11 tarantulas and three colonies of roaches. That's really interesting. Um, I want to say that I'd be freaked out by a tarantula, but probably not. I mean, especially like if I'm with someone like you who's used to having them and you're not freaking out, I'm probably going to be like, all right, cool, I'll crawl on me for a little bit. Uh, same with the roaches, not a big deal. But uh, yeah, I mean, that might be creepy for some people. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I've ED I have been EDCing my serrated Dodo for about three years. Dodos are one of my favorite uh, Spydercos, perfect for breaking down boxes. I work retail, so it gets plenty of use. I also have uh, included a Gerber Gator that I reground. That's right, you sent me pictures of that. That was very, very cool. I also uh, included my favorite cheap gas station cigar. Awesome. Thanks for getting me into cigars. Uh, if you ever get any more black and mild, try the wood tips. I prefer them. I will do in the future some of the wood tip cigars, uh, maybe like some white owls, you know, besides the um, black and milds as well. Uh, let's see, checkmate glass skull bead, glow in the dark skull bead, and two of the best looking tumble stones. I tumbled myself back when I was into tumbling. Uh, the other knife is a push dagger that I made, if you like it. It's all, it's all yours, and feel free to keep it, but if not, you can send it back with the scarab. Uh, I'm very happy about this trade. Uh, I've wanted a Microtech Scabber since I was a kid, which technically wasn't that long ago since I'm only 24. Uh, I, as you may or may not know, am a hobbyist knife maker. Uh, you can check out my work on Instagram at ev.knives. If you ever want a custom knife, let me know. Maybe even a collaboration. Well, we'll see about that in the future. But yeah, I, I have seen his uh, push daggers actually, as he mentioned, there might be one in here we can take a look at. Uh, but yeah, definitely worth checking them out on Instagram. So here's contact information. All right, and that is from Gabriel. So thank you, Gabriel. I am very, very excited for this Dodo. I'm also very excited for you as well. Uh, I don't often mention this, but when I do trades with people and I give away, or you know, my side of the trade is like really nice stuff. In this case, it happens to be Microtech Scarab. Um, you know, I get excited for other people to try stuff. Just as much as I love trying knives, I love that other people can get those knives they've really been looking for, especially if it's, you know, older or discontinued, you know, or hard to find, so. Do get joy out of that as well. 
So first off, oh, this seemed to have survived. A little dented, but there you go. A wine flavored black and mild. I could save this and I'll probably do a video on that. So stay tuned for that. It just made it. It's got a dent in it, but it's not, it doesn't look torn or anything. So here's the, the beads. Oh, these are cool. The glow and dark bead and the tumbled stones. Very interesting. Very cool stuff. I like those. Here is, oh, this is nice. This is a really solid feel. I'm not sure these pins might be glow in the dark, but this is the push dagger. This one has, a, looks like a claw style grip. It's actually really comfortable. Pretty cool. That is thick too. It is not going anywhere. I can definitely take some abuse. Very thick stock. Man, that is gnarly. Here's his uh, maker's mark. Pretty cool. I like that. I'm assuming that's some G10, but it is layered up. Like I said, it's very thick stock to begin with. But I mean, the G10 is totally smoothed out. Very well finished. Pretty cool. I like that. And of course, the Kydex fits nicely. Got a little loop on there. Very cool. Quite hefty because it is such a thick stock. But I do like it. So, here's the Gerber Gator. And this one you can see how it was reground because the missing logo here. I believe this originally had partially serrated edge. Actually, really, really well done. Very well done. I mean, if that logo wasn't there, you might not ever know that that was changed, to be honest. So classic uh, Gerber model. Looking for a more affordable, kind of lightweight, larger knife. This is a good option. Very kind of rubberized, thick handle. Really fills up the hand very nicely. But very cool. Yeah, very nice touch up. And then of course, let me move this stuff over here. Of course, this is what some of you guys clicked on to see the old Ugly knife. Hmm, which version? Can you guess now? Write down in the comments. Black. With a plain edge blade. Very cool. So what do you think? Beautiful? Ugly? A lot of you guys think it's ugly. But I don't care. I love it. I love these knives. Like I said, I've had a uh, a bunch of them, just a bunch of different versions of it. All right, I go grab my hat because I haven't worn this in a while. But for the people who haven't seen it, I do have the blue dodo lapel pin <laughs> on my hat. There was one point where I used to wear this hat around. People would ask me what this is, and I'd pull the knife out of my pocket and show them. And they always thought it was really cool that I happened to have a pin of the knife I carry. But yeah. There it is, the, uh, the ugly knife. I'll say quote, unquote, ugly knife, because some people don't think it's ugly. It is uh, extremely useful, whether you like the looks of it or not. I mean, I think that's kind of the theme of Spydercos in general. Some people do think that they're ugly knives. I think the majority of Spydercos are nice looking. There are some funky ones, you know, and there's some weird ones, but sometimes they're, they're funky and weird for a reason. And uh, it serves a purpose, you know, a functionality purpose. But anyway, that is it. Thank you very much again, Gabriel, for the hookup. I appreciate it. This one, I, and for the foreseeable future, I mean, never say never, but for the foreseeable future, I don't plan on selling or trading this. This is going to go into my strange, uh, you know, folding knife collection just because of the lock. Um, I mean, the knife itself is unique, but for that collection, I usually just do different types of mechanisms. So I'm gonna ship the Microtech out very soon for you. For everyone else in the comment section, I'd like you to write yes or no. Yes, if you like the Dodo. No, if you think it's dumb. And don't worry, you won't hurt my feelings. This is just a, a general question. Just curious. I think it's kind of 50-50. Uh, some of the older people who have had them before would uh, appreciate their usefulness, uh, even though that their, their looks aren't for everyone. But yeah, just a curious poll, I guess. So that's all. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have an awesome day and I'll see you soon. Take care.